Hey, you guys. So I'm sorry the lighting is horrible in my living room, but guess what came today? I'm so excited. I'm looking so beat because I took today off and I haven't done anything but get wigs together. But I took today off because I was expecting a really big package on a freight truck. So here it is. Oh my God. Okay, so I got a wig making sewing machine and this is the table that it goes to. And then of course I have other boxes of parts and things like that inside of here that I have to set up, but this is the big table that it goes to right here. And then this is my big giant machine i'm so excited this thing is super when i say super heavy i mean super heavy so i am going to be setting it up in my living room let me show you guys over here in this spot i've moved everything out of the way this is where my desk used to be where i have my sewing machine all of my supplies and everything are down there but I have moved my desk out of this area. This is where it's gonna be. And I'm super excited. So let's get to putting this thing together. All right, so I heard some good things about this specific brand, Texo sewing machine. And there's two different ones that I was kind of eyeing, but this one is the one where I saw the most reviews um, the most people use this one. So I'm going to go ahead and go with this one. Here's all the instruction manuals here. Nice, big, thick book. I follow them on Instagram and I follow them on Facebook. I have been following this company for a long time. I have been waiting to order one <laughs> for a minute. So, oh, they actually have a YouTube as well. Hopefully you guys can read that. They are on YouTube. So I'm gonna start um, putting this thing together. This is the picture of how it looks completely put together. Um, one of their machines, this is not the specific one for mine, but this is how it's gonna kind of look once it's put together completely. And they give you all the ins and outs of everything on here. So I'm gonna go through this very carefully because I am gonna have to actually find a sewing machine person to help just in case anything gets you know broken and how to fix it and things like that in my area so i'm gonna have to do that research as well so let's get into it horrible right so yellow the lighting is so yellow but anyways it's put together i haven't done anything yet that is the light over there that's on the ground and I haven't plugged anything in yet, but I did have to put the machine on top, install these parts here. Um, and I had to install where my thread goes back here and the belt that the little turn thing goes on right here. It's like, this piece right here there's no way i could carry this by myself my husband had to pick it up for me it was so heavy but it's on everything is put together now i just have to plug it in and try it out i'm gonna go through these directions right here they do give you a booklet for the directions on how to install the motor down here but it comes already installed screwed on and everything so the smaller booklet is the one that they send you that you have to go by for, you know, if the motor is already on there for you. And I need to read the directions on how to use all of these buttons, how to make my uh, speed go faster and slower and things like that. So let me get the reading. All right. This is the piece they give you um, when they test out your machine for you. So it's a few different pieces, different thickness and densities. And I think this one's the thickest one. It's a leather piece here. And they test it out with white thread. 
So I have watched my videos on YouTube from their YouTube channel on how to thread your machine and how to thread your bobbins and things like that. So I was going on this piece here. I've threaded my machine with black thread. So I put the lever down and I set my machine to 700 speed, but you can go the slowest I think is 600 and you can go a little bit faster, but this is so far how it is. Definitely sturdy, sturdy machine. And I take it out and there's my little black line if you guys could see it even though it's black on black i'm gonna do a lighter piece let me go here on this yellow piece so you guys can see it all right there you go so the machine is working properly. There's the front and the back. And I can just cut my thread like normal. And that's pretty much it, you guys. So now I'm gonna start hopefully trying to add some <laughs> hair onto these wigs. Thank you, sir. All right, so I'm super excited about my machine. Let me show you guys a few things. I have my thread in the back here. It threads through this top hole and goes all the way down through the machine there. Goes through here, around here, up through the top up here. It goes through a lot of steps just to get to the needle here. Now this um, piece here is detachable. If I wanna sew other things on this machine, the this machine specifically does i believe four different types of um items i think it does wigs of course purses it does hats and another one i just cannot think of but um it does four different types this actual attachment piece does come off it came with it i did not have to attach it onto my machine it actually came with the machine already attached and of course this is a high um a high presser foot uh, machine so i'm excited you guys i'm about to start doing some wigs now my bobbin is in here threaded ready to go i actually thread my bobbin over here on this part let me get the light over here for you guys I thread my bobbin over here on this part of the machine. And that was definitely a little interesting. So I'm definitely gonna have to order more bobbins because this is what they look like. Definitely more sturdy than my other sewing machine bobbins and bigger in size as well. So I'm going to purchase more of these so I can have a lot more bobbins available. This is like a little storage area here where I can store little things that I need for my machine, such as bobbins and so on and so forth. But so far, so good, you guys. I'm definitely going to have to train myself on how to use this machine. Uh, I'm definitely one to figure it out myself, not one to take classes and stuff like that. So I'm excited to get started on this machine. I'm still gonna use my little baby over here that only cost me like mm, $200 maybe, $179 or something like that from Amazon and Walmart and stuff, but we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna keep her just in case, but this is gonna be my main go-to. Much faster, can handle much thicker material and things like that, so I'm excited. I'm excited, so stay tuned. Oh shoot. Look at that, what are you doing? Oh my God, I love this.
is crazy. All right, you guys. So there are my first two tracks. I'm so excited. I did not have to take my wig cap off the machine at all to do my next track. I can just spin it around and continue on the next track. Here's the first one I did underneath the second one that I did. It's so neat. It's so sturdy. I am like, oh, I'm so excited. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this wig and complete it. I still have it on 700 speed setting and I can go much faster once I get used to it, but I'm excited.